I'm here in the gorgeous little town of Bayeux, which is home to the Bayeux Tapestry, among other things. Whatever I do, I always try to do it fabulously. So why not join me on travelling fabulously? Bayeux is like a lot of places in Europe, full of history. Its history is noted back until the 3rd century, which is pretty amazing to think about it now. It was invaded so much in the Middle Ages by the Vikings that Danish has been noted as the commonly spoken language in the area. It's now the home of even more history, friendly people and great produce, especially apple-related products from the Normandy region. Here in the gorgeous little town of Bayeux, right behind me is the smallest house in France. I kid you not. Called La Plus Petite Maison and located right in the centre of town by the river, it is probably likely the smallest house in Bayeux than in France, but it's still pretty darn cute. Oh, and if you click on the link in the description, you can actually book to stay there. Bayeux, it seems, is also a cat haven, which Lenny found out very confrontingly, especially when looking at them face to face. One of Bayeux's best patisseries, the Ordione Sal, serves the regional specialty, the St. Eve. I just bought a St. Eve and she looks delicious. Can't wait to try it. Mm, yum. Some spatty to St. Eve. Mm, yum. Hashtag. One of the things to do in Bayeux is to go see the tapestry. Love a good tapestry. Let's go have a look. Okay. No problem. So, just been in to see the tapestry. Look, it's 70 meters long, it's half a meter wide, and it's just one room. But, you know, I had to take photos, so I couldn't take any photos. You really need to come and have a look. It's pretty kind of cool. It's all about William the Conqueror and how he came in and did all sorts of stuff and yeah, it's kind of interesting and it's all in tapestry. Um, make sure if there's any children you might just want to go have a cup of tea and wait because they're kind of really loud in the little room. But apart from that, it's kind of fabulous. So go check it out, the Bayeux Tapestry. Like in most French towns, there's just a little old church. The town's cathedral was completed by William the Conqueror's brother-in-law, Odo, the Earl of Kent. I wish my brother-in-law would build me a cathedral. Lenny, they don't allow dogs in the crepe restaurant. Lenny, what did you say? Oops. You can't swear, Lenny. I'm not going. Well, we did go and the crepes were delicious and they even let Lenny in. Bayeux was the first city liberated at the Battle of Normandy in the Second World War. Bayeux is also the site of two speeches made by General Charles de Gaulle declaring that officially France sided with the Allies. The town is also the site of a memorial to all journalists that have lost their lives reporting during conflicts and the memorial lists the names of nearly 1,900 people killed between 1944 and 2007. So, here I am back in Paris after visiting Bayeux. Had a wonderful time. The tapestry, the history, the great crepes. <gasps> and that Saint Eve. Mmm, delicious. Anyways, I hope you join me next week. Don't forget to share me around. You know how I love to be shared around. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And above all, subscribe to the YouTube. Yeah, also, if you liked me, why not say that you liked me? Press the like button. Great. I'll see you next week for more of Travelling Fabulously. You know what I say, if you're going to do something, why not do it fabulously with me on Travelling Fabulously?